ఎవరైనా ఎప్పుడు ఎవరైనా ఎప్పుడు ఇస్తారా yes yes yeah thank you so now uh, just uh, you can observe uh, okay final step sign out is completed just end the sign out and now you are what is the steps you want to record everything is uh, completed then we need to stop record button this is the stop record button so once you can click on stop record button so automatically the code will be generated see the code is automatically generating what are the steps you performed all steps will be recorded using our virtual user generator and it will generate from the script statements see now you can observe it is a recording is completed and we can observe so if you go to the action everything is recorded or not you can observe here so this is the launch one and is a login sign in you can observe sign in and you can observe we are provided username password see and transaction also you can observe see transaction names also came spot transaction and transaction names also came you can observe you are provided the start transaction name is a login so means login is code is starting from here and this is the everything is login part and you can observe end end transaction means login code is ended up to here again it is started for the click on pet you can observe click on pet is ended here means we need from the start transaction and transaction because when you are recording you are provided from the start and end also same way it is recorded for the entire script is recorded no need to write manual anything everything our script will be it is generated now you can observe final transaction also logout also it is happen you can observe logout see logout started and ended here see it is ended here okay so now you can observe now just will this is the just replay button so execution button just you can replay this then you can understand that how the application it is executing the our application so just to click on this see no errors and you can see the runtime viewer also like launch application see our tool also it is showing from the launching and logging and pet booking and final will be logout see your script will be pass you can observe the results here also because our performance testing major thing this one like launch is how much time it is happen click on pet is how much time it is happen select a product and add to cart payment details confirm logout you can observe all will be this is the 1 second 515 microseconds this is the click on pet is a 333 milliseconds select a product 183 means only one time one user it is happened for this but we want to test from the multiple users so now this is the completed we use an assume this script is ready because script also passed okay just you can minimize this and go to the next component controller we'll open the controller this is the controller just open the controller the controller this opening this is the load runner controller it is opening now you can observe here we have the load runner scripts so what are the scripts you performed all scripts will be displayed here so you need to select your script what is our script pestor underscore we are given for the what is the script name if you go here and we can check pestor pet booking and today date we are provided we need to select our script okay pestor uh, pet book you can select that one see you can observe this is the our script you can observe pestor pet booking 13 08 23 
So that script you can select, okay, and click on add to cart, add. So just this is added, and after added, just click on okay. So as a performance test engineer also, we can do this is the way only. Scripting is completed. You can that script you push into the controller. Now you can observe I, this script I pushed in controller. Okay. And uh, this is the quantity, nothing but how many users you are executing. Here you can observe how the design run will be there. Design nothing but you can design how many users you want to execute the test. Run nothing but just click for the start scenario where execution will be start. So I want, for example, I want test with 50 users. So here, just click on for here and you can provide from the number of users will be 50. Okay. Okay. And uh, this will be we'll discuss later. Just I'm giving for the 50 users. Okay. And this is the duration, nothing but how much duration you want to execute the test. So just we'll execute from the oh, two minutes because we don't have much time. Okay, just two minutes and uh, same way you can do here. Okay. See, now design is completed. So you now can observe start users. You can observe here 50 users we are testing for this application and uh, two minutes duration we are executing. So but total test will be finished from the in this time. Two and a half minutes, your test will be finished. Okay. Now, design is completed. Means design nothing but how many users you want to test the application. So, like this, you can design. And after that, go to the run. Here, you can observe this is the your application you are testing. This is the 50 users now down status. If you click for the start scenario, your execution will be start. Okay. Just click for the, okay, we'll uh, decrease for the number of users because i will show for the different also okay just i'm decreasing few 10 users only we can test okay 10 users okay two minutes duration total test will be completed okay now okay mm. so now 10 users design is completed go to the run tab and you can observe 10 users. Now just start scenario. See, you can observe once you can click on start scenario, running users here, two users running. Elapse time, nothing but test to start time, like starting from the one second, two second, how much second. And here you can observe possible transactions and failed transactions. Transactions, nothing but launch login, click on pet, right? That is the transactions here. You can observe. All users is running from the these 10 users. If you open here, show user. So every user, how the performing, we can observe. 10 users is opening from the different, different browsers and they perform for the, their transaction. One user going to the login, one user is a LAN state, one user pet booking. You can observe this 10 users will be performing different, different things. We are given two minutes, right? These two minutes, they are executing from the like this. Real time, it is executed like this. You can observe this user login test it. Means user to user will be different also. It is will be there. You can observe. 10 users means 10 windows will open. So test is executing. You can observe. Test is executing. And you can observe possible transactions will be this many possible transactions happen with 10 users. And you can observe there is no failures, there is no errors. Maybe you got for the more than 2% possible transactions errors, this test will be invalid. So why we are getting errors? You need to rectify. Okay, that things we can discuss later classes. Okay, just we are today just executing the test and after complete the test, right? We can analyze the results also. So as a performance test engineer also, your duty only, this is only just record, push the script, how many users you want test and just execute. So this kind of execution, it is happened from the one hour, two hour, one hour, every 
we have the different kinds of test will be there. We need to execute one hour. So if you click on start record button, just you need to observe that. Okay, just monitor only this, how the we are getting any errors or not, how the test is going. You just, you can understand. Nothing you can do for the one hour also. See, now you can observe all users will be down status. Means your test execution will be completed from the within three minutes. So stopped already, four users stopped. So now five, six. All 10 users will be stopped means your test will be finished. See, completed. Your test is completed. Total passed how many happen? Okay, 500 transaction, 580 transactions happen. Now, controller means you need to do for this is only control. Now, after that, we need to open the analyzer. Once you want to open this test results, you can go to the results, click on analyze results. Then it is invoked to the, our third component is the analyzer. If you click on this, you can observe. It is open for the, our third component, load runner analysis. So you should wait for the results will be loading. You should wait until 100% because its uh, results are loading. <laughs> See, now you can observe this. Test is uh, done and you can observe that this is the duration you are executed. Total duration it is executed, three minutes, one second. Total, how many users you are started execution? 10 users. And the major thing you can observe each and every transaction. So these all transactions, you can observe login, confirm, click on bet, what are the transaction name you are given, all transaction is showing. And this is the average response time of the 100, uh, 10 users average response time this. So you can observe, Add cart, click on pet, confirm, login, logout, payment details, select product only, our transactions. Any one of the transaction, you need to observe that average response time. This is a more than two seconds. No, right? So you can observe only, you can observe this was only. Like uh, first will be login. And after login, you are what you did, select for the product. And after that select product, what you did, you are like add to cart and after that payment details. And so each and every transaction, you can observe 0 0.37 millisecond, 0 0.309, 1.79, 0 0.745, 0 0.309. So each and every transaction will be, results will be good. If results will be good, no worry, because you can observe for the CPU memory also. If you go here, CPU memory is less than 80%. So that is why your results will be good. If it is more than that, you can observe that any one of the transaction response time could be high. Now your results will good, just you can send this report to the our client. Okay, who is uh, our lead or anyone will be available, right? You can send this report to the client. Just copy this results. Just control C and open from the Excel. Okay just copy paste it and you can send so just i will show for the we need to how to we can prepare the report also so this is only your end to end testing nothing will be there So after uh, this uh, reporting is completed, right? We have the QA section. If you have any doubts, right? Anyone, please ask me if you do. Okay. So now this is the just a report uh, I'm preparing. What I copied, right? You can paste here.
See, results also came. So now each and every transaction, we need to mention one more column is the SLA. So our transaction SLA, what is the our SLA two second client provided? Okay, just you can give it as a each and every transaction two seconds SLA. Okay. And you can observe now you need to compare with the this two, which one 90 percentage and uh, okay, this action transaction no need because that is not our entire part. Okay. Now we can arrange order also. Like first we'll be login and you can arrange order also. Okay, now I'm not arranging. So you should uh, understand that 10 users response time. This is the response time of each and every transaction. Any one of the transaction it is happening from the more than two seconds. No, right? Means every transaction is good. Means we need to queue from the like uh, just highlight from the green color. Then client will be know that okay, each and every transaction we are response time good uh, good from the this. Average of the 90 percent is average of this two. Maybe if you are observe that any transaction will be high, then we need to mention as a red color also. Someone will be see means easily understand that okay, this one transaction happen from the response time will be high. So like this, we can do for performance testing. Then everything is good. Then no need to highlight anything. Then this. Uh, report you can send just you can save this report as a pest store results okay and uh, you can attach mail and you can go to the mail okay just you can prepare the high team we are executed pest store application with the 100 users all transactions response time will be within the sla or within the two seconds and cpu utilization memory utilization also normal please find the attached results thanks and regards your name that's it this is only your job it's clear everyone anyone have any doubts you can ask me now is a qa session so you can ask which language you can comfort you can ask me okay no worry about that everyone is good or anyone have any doubts any questions please So if you today is fine, it's a demo class, but tomorrow onwards, everyone will be speak. I will definitely every day ask for the interview questions. What is the virtual user generator? What is perform testing? What are the tools in the market? So once class is completed, again, tomorrow is the first 10 minutes section only, interview section only. And as same to the, what is the topic I given for the work assignment? That work assignment also I will see for that. Means first 10 to 15 minutes will be our, just our uh, interview section, one side and one side will be assignment, I will say. Okay. So I think everyone is good. Then uh, we can meet tomorrow onwards for the regular classes. It's uh, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. regular classes. So who are interested, right? Please attend from the tomorrow onwards. Our classes, regular classes will be start tomorrow onwards. No, not tomorrow, not, sorry, Monday. Uh, yeah, Monday, tomorrow only, right? Yeah, Monday onwards, yes. Okay. Thank you for joining, everyone. And uh, we'll meet from the next class. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Happy Sunday.